Well, hey everyone, Dan Fitzgerald here on the Fitzcrafter Homestead. I guess that's what we're gonna call this now. <laughs> I, I brought you out here. I'm gonna show everybody today how I do my chickens dirt bath. Uh, they definitely need it, and these guys absolutely love this thing. Uh, I'm gonna show you the coop a little bit, show you the chickens, and then show you how to do uh, what I do to make a dirt bath. Uh, let me swap this camera around. Well, wow, there we go. Show you. Uh, change the name on there a bit. Or I actually put a name on there. I finally got the door on. That's the Cluckers hen pen. And then over here on the building, we got the egg drop in. Come on in. Only cost an egg to live there. <laughs> now I put up some solar lights. I got one inside, so there's a solar panel for it. One here. There's one down on the other end down there. One in the back. And I put some nice latches on here. I usually put a lock on at night. And I come inside, and it's got a nice little pull handle here, so I can get in and out. And here are my beautiful little chick girls. They are just about two months old. So they are considered pullets. And they are growing up beautifully. Now we do have one, our gray one, um, broke a foot. And she is inside the barn. Uh, we have got her splinted up and separated. Uh, the other ones were picking on her because she couldn't get around. Uh, we've been giving her a little bit of uh, liquid ibuprofen, which is recommended in her water. And uh, uh, like I said, we splinted up her leg. But look at these beautiful girls. I mean, some of these girls, have the colors in them have just come out fantastic. They're just beautiful. I got one in here. Uh, she's back there. She looks like a bald eagle uh, gray with the light gray I don't know how well y'all can see this I got my sunglasses on so colors not coming through on my phone real good for me but look at the colors on this one here this one here wants to be in the camera now I haven't named these so there's too many of them I wouldn't figure out what name was what especially when I got six of them they're exactly the same but girls are loving their pen I've redone it inside. They've got three roosts in there now. Uh, right now, I'm just using a little one-gallon waterer. And I'm using an old dog bowl for their food at the moment. As you can see, they make quite a mess. Uh, I haven't built the uh, actual feeder that I'm going to do for them, which will be out of a 35 or 32-gallon barrel. Um, uh, it will... Uh, uh, hold three bags or four bags of feed and uh, I won't have to worry about them there won't be near the mess they got on the ground back there uh, as you can see over here this is where their dirt bath is that I built them it's uh, 18 by 24 and uh, that was full two weeks ago and they have emptied it out as you can see it's all over the place now I gotta come in here and clean this up a little bit they've dug up some rock and stuff from the ground which this area has got plenty of and back here where uh, my little fluff birds are uh, this is going to be where my compost pile goes so they'll get the op the, the opportunity to uh, clean up any uh, scrap food scraps we throw in there and whatever they don't want will turn into compost and uh, when I clean their uh, coop out all their droppings and everything will go back in there and we'll let her build up and next year we'll have a good pile of compost back here i got a bunch of leaves over well i can't see that screen but a bunch of leaves over there that uh i will be putting in there along with it and then uh my grass clippings and stuff but look at that she is just beautiful just beautiful we ended up with i i, I there's my eagle I swear she looks just like a golden eagle or a, a bald eagle and fast <laughs> they're all fast but uh, 
we've been having fun with them. Uh, Kim absolutely loves to come out here and uh, uh, sit right over there or on the edges of this here and uh, pet the chickens. And uh, they run from you, but boy, if you get in there and and uh, reach down, and grab them, and get them up on your lap, they don't want to leave then. That once you start petting them, they're like, oh, yeah, oh man, that's good. So let's go out here and I will show you all what I do. Uh, I got a couple buckets of sand here. Now this was bags of play sand at one time. I uh, had spread out on the ground. Um, it, it's as you can see, it's got some leaves and stuff in it, but it's it's just regular play sand. Um, get it pretty much anywhere. Uh, most of your your hardware stores or or uh, big box stores I have it. And I got uh, some. Uh, all-purpose topsoil that I've been using to go around this with and covering up the mesh that I put in there and I also did a garden up there I can show you and then in this container here's where I keep my wood ash yeah and it's got a, one of those locking lids I keep wood ash and I mix the three of them together um, so that uh, the wood ash actually helps keep the bugs away uh, because the smell of the burnt wood uh, on the ash keeps the bugs away so it keeps the bugs off the chickens along with them being able to get their sand and dirt bath so let me put this phone on here and I will show you how I mix it up okay let me see if we get a good picture here all right so basically it's just a matter of mixing them all, but I try to keep them all as even as possible. Um, I'm going to put these two, two buckets full of sand in here. Get my knife out. Cut my bag open. And pour in some dirt. Bag. And then I'll pour about half of this bucket of ash in there. And that's good. Then I just take my hole and I just mix it all up. And another thing that's nice too about the actual wood ash will actually help keep the soil dry even when it gets wet and rains on it. It will dry it up faster. I don't know how that happens, but it does. I just mix it all up real good. So I got a nice consistency. seen it but the, the top sole was a bit wet go ahead and grab my phone back off of the stand the top sole was a bit wet but once you mix it with the sand and the ash everything just comes out nice and dry like I said that wood ash just dries things up really quick and the best thing about it is it keeps the bugs away now I will go in there and put this in there in a little bit. Um, as you can see, I still got a little work to do right there. I'm going to put some uh, paper blocks in there for a walkway in front. Um, last two rains we had, since I've done all this, uh, we've got no moisture underneath there at all, except we're, of course, over by the uh, compost, and that's what I want. So... Um, not getting any major runoff or anything and then these up here are well, you're gonna see two different colors two different concretes but I'm looking to do a hexagonal blocks which I'm making myself now, those are gonna go in front of the door down there I'll show you what else I've been doing as you can see here's a heck of a pile of rock there 
I had uh, Gabian Rock brought in. This hill, as you can tell, is washing out all the way back down through there. I've got to probably have two more loads of this rock yet. But as you can see, this is what I am doing. Little by little, I put Mama in a little flower garden up there. Uh, I'm going to do one more up by the deck. I'm going to pour some concrete. Let me see my finger right there across from this tree and then back over to the step area and and just bring it up it's only going to come up to the height of this right here about this corner uh, down here about this corner out and then back across and we're going to fill that in with dirt and put some more flowers in um my dog he's on a leash or on a cable i had to put this little fence in down here to keep him from getting in there uh his cable keeps getting caught on the rocks which i don't want him going down there anyway now because that that could slide and he could get hurt so as you can see i still got a hell of a pile of rock this was all from one truck load uh, Thirty-two thousand pounds of rock and there's mama down there with the chicken that's, that's hurt uh, we'll take you down there and show you what we did. We just had to splint its foot up. Uh, we're doing our best to save it. And she seems to be getting around a little better. She just did it three days ago, but she's already seemed to be getting around a little better. Well, Miss Kim's got our little gray one, and she's so purry. We don't want anything happening to her, but as you can see, we had to... We took a straw and then we took some uh, pipe cleaners and we straightened her toes and her foot out there and then wrapped her in gauze. Yeah, it's, we know, baby. We know it hurts. And like I said, I have put ibuprofen in her water and I put her back in the original brooder in here with some food and water and stuff like that and put a top over it so she don't fly out but she seems to be doing a little better we're going to do our best to try to save her um another lady was talking to kim over there at the tractor supply and told her she had to put one of her birds down because it broke her broke its foot she wished she knew she could have done this and we're we're not going to put her down unless we have to we we, like we uh, yeah, really want to try to save her she's such a pretty bird oh, so good. and uh, we love our animals, so you know, we can't uh, we can't just put them down without trying to help them first. But anyway, uh, that's how I make our dirt bass for our our chickens. And a little update on the coop, and update on what I'm doing around here. I have got to admit that since I've got off Telegram and and stopped messing with YouTube and all that other stuff like that man i feel so much freaking better i'm getting so much more done um i still get my news but uh, it's very very too far and in between uh they took mr bcp off of youtube um and i only watched him once in a while anyway but uh he's a good guy he's a really good guy um uh, just rambles a little too much for me but uh we're we're getting things done around here it's starting to look better things are getting green finally looking beautiful here in missouri about time i take that uh plastic down off the side there um i may leave it for a little longer our rainy season is the next month or so after that i'll probably take it down and go from there I've been cleaning up back here, as you can see, it's probably it's burnt back there. I've been cleaning that all up, and we had a bunch of vines that were killing off our trees back here. I've been all up and down those hills, cutting all those vines out, uh, killing those off, so our trees can actually grow. Because if the trees die, then the hills start sliding. We don't we don't want that. So anyway, y'all, I love y'all, miss y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed day. 
and we will see you next time. God bless.